This is 128 Fulmer Place. These were built by Sable Homes, which has since been bought by Toll Brothers, if you're familiar with that company. And these are kind of cool properties because they basically live like single family homes. They are technically townhomes, but they're only attached by a little storage unit between each unit. Um, so they don't actually share any living walls. And this one is an end unit, so it's only connected on one side. And as we head inside, it's about just over 1,800 square feet. Three bed, two and a half bath. You walk in and you have your staircase going up and kind of a foyer. And then you have your one car garage here. Downstairs you have engineered hardwood floors, nice open floor plan with a large living room, large kitchen. You have a storage closet under the stairs and it does extend back under the stairs for a little additional storage as well. And then you also have a two piece half bath downstairs with a pedestal sink and toilet. Living room wise, it is a very large living room. You could easily fit a large sectional or multiple couches, large furniture, dining area is off of the kitchen here. Um, you could fit probably a six or eight person table fairly easily. Kitchen island with stainless appliances. It is a gas range and off white cabinets. They're kind of like a creamy white. Cabinets are particle board stapled drawers. So they're not, you know, super high end cabinetry, but they look very nice. And you have a subway tile backsplash here. Granite countertops, obviously. And again, when you're inside these units, they certainly don't feel like townhomes. They feel like detached homes. Out back, you have a nice size screen porch. You can see the neighbors have kind of built a floating deck out into the uh, tree area because there is a retaining wall right along here that drops down into the tree area. My understanding is that this is HOA owned uh, wetland behind, so shouldn't be anything built behind in all likelihood. And you can see some people have fenced in the backyards. It would be a little bit difficult to do on this particular property because of the the drop down right through here but i'm sure there would be a way to do it if you wanted to and then you also have you know kind of a small grilling area here as well and then access to the storage shed which i did not unlock yet so this is the storage area that's connected to the neighboring property. So that is the only shared wall. So it is not a living wall. It's just the wall to that storage unit, which is nice. So heading back inside, We'll go through the kitchen and living area and head upstairs. I didn't get that. Could you try it? Sorry. My watch thought I was talking to it. So carpet on the stairs. Carpet is original, so it's a little matted down. It, it doesn't appear to be in bad shape and probably could be livened up with a good uh, professional cleaning. At the top of the stairs, you have the hall bath which has a fiberglass tub shower combination, darker wood cabinets, tile floors, and your two secondary bedrooms 
our nice large rooms on the back of the property. They both have double closets and they back out to the woods, as you can see. Bedroom number two is very similar size. Nice large room, double closet again, and laundry room here. Pretty standard laundry room. You have a linen closet there. There are a few creaks in the floors and things like that. Nothing major. Master bedroom here has a very large walk-in closet and it's a nice large room with a tray ceiling, can lighting, and ceiling fan. This appears to be a queen bed, but you could certainly fit a king easily. And the master bath has a double vanity. Again, the darker wood cabinets, big framed mirror. It has a linen closet inside and a semi-frameless shower with kind of a tile look. This is fiberglass, but it has that tile look to it. And it has a separate water closet here as well. And then off of the master, you have a, an upstairs porch. And it looks out over the street. You also get a lot of nice light in here because there are four windows in the master bedroom. Now granted, obviously you are fairly close to the neighboring unit since they are technically attached. So, you know, out the window you do have um, a little bit of a lack of privacy, but certainly something that curtains and blinds help with. And that is everything.